Quesadillas are often a very nourishing weekday meal that we have mostly for lunch. Um, and I love them so much that I even made them at one point in eighth grade for a cooking class as a presentation. So we had a choice of taking a variety of electives in eighth grade, and I obviously chose to go with the chef's elective, as they call it, uh, mainly because I could cook stuff and then eat it. Eating was the more important part because um, you didn't get a lot of food during the day, especially the tiny little tray lunches they gave you weren't very substantial. So having a nice midday snack helped boost your energy. And like all classes, we had to make something and then present it. Um, tell, tell people the same, you know, presentation BS, what we did, how we went about doing it, our thought process behind it. And so my group and I are sitting at our table brainstorming what we want to do. And uh, we, we come up with a pretty good idea, right? We're just going to make some nice cheese quesadillas. Um, the teacher comes over then and... Uh, Rains on our parade a bit. She says, oh, you guys, that's not enough. These other groups are doing so much more than you and that you need to up the difficulty of what you're making. And so we go back to the drawing board and we come up with a very wonderful idea, or at least in my opinion, a wonderful idea. And so our group decided to do cheese quesadillas with guac and with some homemade flour tortillas made in a similar fashion as to how I'm doing uh, now. Um, in the class though, I didn't add baking powder. Uh, baking powder I used here to leaven it a bit, but otherwise it's pretty much the same salt, uh, water, flour, and oil. Um, in this case though, I didn't use butter as I did in the in my school class because obviously that's not vegan. And uh, I, we only had butter on hand in the class beforehand. So the teacher came back and uh, approved our idea, and uh, I was really stoked to to be able to, you know, create something for the class and get all these lovely compliments and boost my ego about how good of a cook I am. So me thinking that I am the most capable one in my group um, and being overly ambitious, I decide to take on the challenging task of making the dough. So I went and did some minor preparation, watching a single Chef John video as well as looking at his all recipes recipe uh, for flour tortillas, which is the one I ultimately used. Um, as I said before, we didn't have uh, shortening, so we used butter. So when the day of our presentation arrived, I had to uh, create the dough beforehand, um, just mix it together so that it had some time to rest before we actually made them live in front of the class. Uh, the dough mixing went fairly straightforward. I just chucked all the ingredients together and used one of those like brass knuckle pastry mashers to turn the uh, butter into a couple of chunks. That way it uh, melted away into little pockets of fat in the final tortilla. Um, I didn't do that with the olive oil simply because it is just gets dispersed evenly. And so I patiently waited through the rest of my day until the faded final period of the day where we would present. Um, I think instead of olive oil, I definitely could have used coconut oil. That would have made the flavor of the tortillas much more distinct and would have helped in puffing it up more and keeping it moist and chewy. Unlike how it turned out, it ended up kind of being like this uh, flat bread more than a tortilla. So uh, note to self, next time I will use a different oil. Anyways, when eighth period rolled around, I ran all the way down from one end of the building to the cooking room at the end of the other and uh, got right to work because... Uh, as it turned out, I had severely underestimated the amount of time it would take me to make the tortillas. All I had done was uh, mix the dough and let it rest. Uh, if I was a someone with a f really good foresight, I would have you know portioned the things out and then rolled it out. But no, I did that all while the presentation was going on, and I was supposed to do it in 40 minutes. And uh, when I was making it here, that whole process probably took me an hour. So I was pinched on time. And uh, this was the most anticipated event of the day for me. I was so hyper and coked up leading up to this event that 
all the energy I had stored within me boiled up during the presentation and I was like freaking, I was shaking. I was really frantic and uh, berserk almost. Uh, so I, I did a lot of the rolling out and portioning while another one of my group mates, uh, Justin, he cooked them up. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, because of the time crunch, we didn't cook the tortillas first and then assemble the quesadilla. Uh, we actually kind of just put them on the grill with the cheese while they were raw. So uh, they didn't actually cook on both sides. So the inside was very mushy and doughy, not very uh, tortilla-y. Uh, I definitely suggest making the, your tortillas the burrito size ones as opposed to the individual taco size ones if you're going to make them with a mindset of turning them into quesadillas. Uh, that way you can just fold them in half and you don't have to make as many tortillas. Uh, I did use the sandwich method in the video for forming the quesadillas as because the tortillas weren't extremely pliable because I guess of the olive oil. That there, the Daya Havarti pepper jack style, whatever it is, uh, block, uh, is the best vegan cheese on the market. It's a little pricey, whatever, uh, but it's not like the pre-shreds that are coated in all the anti-sticking agents which makes it hard to melt. Um, it's pretty good. It melts very well. It melts somewhat uh, translucent as opposed to being opaque like regular cheese, but it's not a problem. It tastes good. It's gooey. It's melty. I also added a scoop of refried beans that I made the night before. I simply soaked the beans overnight, then boiled them, and then fried them in a bunch of coconut oil with some onions. Uh, but back to the conclusion of the story. Uh, I knew the quesadillas were completely undercooked and that uh, they, they weren't fit for eating, but I gave them out anyways, and no one said anything, or at least I thought. Everyone I thought was, you know, uh, just happy to get the free food. And so I, I felt accomplished. I walked over to the bus stop and uh, one of the girls in the classes approached me and she complained to me about eating undercooked raw dough and she was very snarky and sassy about it and that, that, that kind of ruined the whole experience. And that's probably why I am extremely insecure about posting these cooking videos because of that one horrible experience. Uh, that is all for this week, folks. Hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to like and subscribe.